Picture this. It's the late 80 seconds, a time when neon colors and big hair ruled the scene, and television was a realm of magic and wonder. The air tingled with excitement as families gathered around their cathode ray tube televisions, ready to embark on a journey to the suburban home of the Tanner family. Little did they know, they were about to be greeted by an unexpected extraterrestrial guest who would soon etch his quirky charm into their hearts forever. Yes, in talking about none other than Alf, the lovable, wise-cracking alien life form, whose misadventures and insatiable appetite for everything brought uproarious laughter to living rooms across the nation. Remember that first encounter with Alf, the way his sarcastic quips and unconventional antics caught you off guard, making you burst into uncontrollable laughter. It's those kind of moments that make television truly special, a shared experience that creates bonds and memories that stand the test of time. Maybe you reminisce about ALF's hilarious attempts to blend in with human society, or perhaps it's his inexplicable fascination with all things feline that still tickles your funny bow. But let's not stop at the surface, let's dig deeper into the universe of ALF, unearthing those little known tidbits that will make you appreciate the show even more. From behind the scenes anecdotes to the surprising inspirations that birthed this zany character, we're about to dive headfirst into a treasure trove of facts that will enrich your understanding of ALF and the magic it brought to our screens. So, prepare to be astonished as we unveil the curtain on this beloved classic shedding light on the brilliance that went into creating a sitcom that has stood the test of time. Get ready to smile, reminisce, and perhaps even learn a thing or two about the TV show that wormed its way into our hearts. Without further ado, let's delve into the world of ALF, where hilarity and heart collide in the most extraterrestrial way possible. German cities woe, ALF TV series sparks sign-stealing spree in the annals of television history. Few shows have enjoyed such a global resonance as the 1986 TV series ALF. As the wisecracking alien life form endeared himself to American audiences, a curious phenomenon unfolded thousands of miles away. The city of ALF, nestled on Germany's Moselle River, inadvertently became collateral damage to the show's resounding success. The show's popularity in Germany proved meteoric, turning the name ALF into a household word. Yet, its fame cast an unintended shadow over the German city that shares the moniker. The city limit signs, emblazoned with its name, began vanishing at an alarming rate. So rampant was this peculiar pilferage that the city council found themselves in an unforeseen predicament. To combat this unexpected heist, the council formulated a creative solution, capitalize on the ALF phenomenon. A decision was reached to mass-produce signs bearing the city's name for sale, providing an unexpected economic boost. The ALF show's unwitting impact not only elevated the city of ALF's recognition, but also invigorated its coffers. While the connection between a zany extraterrestrial and a quiet German town might seem capricious, it's a testament to the global reach of television, even in the most unexpected ways. Max Wright's hasty exit from ALF a behind-the-scenes mystery in the annals of television history, the 1986 series ALF stands as a beloved sitcom that brought an extraterrestrial twist to the American living room. However, behind the laughter and puppetry, a curious tale of departure shrouded in mystery emerges. Max Wright, the actor who portrayed the beleaguered patriarch Willie Tanner, reportedly left the set in a manner as enigmatic as the titular alien himself. As the final day of taping arrived, Mr. Wright swiftly cleared his dressing room, departing the studio without so much as a nod to the cast and crew who had shared the soundstage for four seasons. An aura of perplexity hung over this abrupt exit, leading many to speculate about the actor's motivations. Was it frustration with the rigors of playing straight man to a furry puppet? Or perhaps the desire to swiftly put behind him a character that had endeared him to millions, but might have also boxed him in? Adding an extra layer of intrigue, the series' fate remained uncertain during the filming of its last episode in the spring of 1990. The question lingered in the air, would the ensemble ever reunite for more Tanner family antics? This uncertainty sheds light on the potential complexity of Max Wright's departure, a departure that still echoes through the annals of sitcom history. Beyond the enigma of Max Wright's exit, Alf held another secret, one that involved a character's arrival. Baby Eric, a new addition to the Tanner household, was not a mere narrative invention, but rather a response to the real-life pregnancy of Anne Sketty, the actress portraying Kate Tanner. 
The show deftly integrated this personal event into its storyline, showcasing a creative solution that resonated with viewers and added a touch of reality to the fantastical world of ALF. Despite its seemingly light-hearted premise, the show was no small feat to produce. ALF's technical demands and lengthy taping schedules pushed it into the realm of one of the most expensive 30-minute sitcoms of its era. NBC, seeking to recoup costs, deftly licensed the titular character for toys, breakfast cereal, and even an animated spin-off. This business acumen spoke to the show's lasting impact and the network's recognition of the endearing charm of the alien from Melmac. As time moves forward, the curtain falls on ALF's mysteries, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and unanswered questions. From Max Wright's swift departure to the deft incorporation of real-life events, the show reminds us that the world of television is as enigmatic as the cosmos that Alf himself hailed from. Hailed from. Hailed from. Mr. Chompers, a glimpse behind the scenes of the 1986 TV series Alf in his gripping memoir Permanent Midnight. Writer Jerry Stahl laid bare his tumultuous journey to television success amidst the grips of heroin addiction. Stahl's roller coaster of a career saw him rise as a writer for acclaimed shows like Moonlighting, Third or Something, and an iconic 1986 TV series, ALF. Capturing the essence of his struggle, the memoir later inspired the film Permanent Midnight, starring Ben Stiller as Stahl. The silver screen adaptation granted viewers a peek into the hazy haze of the showbiz world, including the eerily reimagined ALF set, now dubbed Mr. Choppers. One of the movie's most surreal sequences thrusts the audience into a drug-induced nightmare, where the beloved puppet takes on an unsettling, hallucinogenic form. The metamorphosis of Elf into a nightmarish apparition within Stahl's mind offered a stark commentary on the shadows that often lurk behind the glitz and glamour of show business. However, while Stahl's story casts a shadow over ALF's legacy, the show itself boasts its own intriguing tale. The series' original unaired pilot, a harbinger of the extraterrestrial comedy's imminent arrival, premiered on August 10, 2004, showcasing ALF's signature blend of humor and heart. The puppet that endeared itself to audiences far and wide found life through the talents of creator Paul Fusco, who not only lent his voice to the titular character, but also operated the puppet itself. A unique ballet of puppetry unfolded on set as a single puppet manipulated by two skilled puppeteers portrayed Alf from the torso upwards. For more complex shots, where ALF's full form was needed, a hybrid puppet, part creature and part human, stepped in, creating a seamless on-screen illusion. Notably, the puppet's appearances diverged noticeably, with facial variations sparking curiosity among devoted fans. Intriguingly, the diminutive figure of actor Mihaly Michumasaros occasionally slipped into the ALF costume, standing at a mere two feet and nine inches. Mesmerizing audiences with his portrayal, this extraordinary performer lent a tangible humanity to the puppet's character, adding yet another layer to the show's distinctive charm. As the years have passed, ALF continues to resonate as a cultural touchstone offering a blend of imaginative storytelling and behind-the-scenes stories that intertwine in ways both inspiring and unsettling. The ALF legacy, shaped by its creators and brought to life through the trials of its writers, stands as a testament to the complexities of the entertainment world, echoing both the whimsy and the darkness that often lurk behind the camera. The camera. The camera. The ca Unveiling ALF, behind the laughs and Disney's near miss in the realm of television, some stories unfold behind the scenes, shaping the narrative more than the scripts themselves. The 1986 TV series ALF is no exception, revealing intriguing tales that echo through the corridors of Hollywood history. As the furry extraterrestrial captured hearts on screen, a web of secrets and negotiations intertwined, enriching the show's legacy. To maintain the mystique of the show and shield its secrets, ALF embarked on a unique journey. The show's creators chose to tape it on a closed studio set, away from prying eyes. No live audience roared with laughter during the filming. Instead, a cleverly placed laugh track was deftly woven into the episodes, orchestrating the illusion of genuine audience reactions. This technical sleight of hand created a distinctive energy, guiding viewers to believe they were part of a live comedy spectacle. However, behind the camera, an entirely different type of drama was unfolding. Michael Eisner, the visionary leader at the Walt Disney Company, recognized the potential of ALF early on. With a penchant for acquiring promising content, Eisner attempted to secure the series for the Disney Empire. 
Yet, despite his ambitious bid, the curtains didn't fall in Disney's favor. Lorimer, the production company behind ALF, inked a syndication deal with Alien Productions, sealing the fate of the wisecracking alien in the hands of other stewards. While the clash of corporate giants was simmering, the cast and crew grappled with their own dynamics. Max Wright, the actor portraying the beleaguered patriarch Willie Tanner, harbored mixed sentiments about his time on the show. Despite his personal misgivings, Wright found solace in the outpouring of fan letters. Those missives detailed tales of joy and happiness the show brought to audiences, even as he navigated the challenges of the production. In the grand tapestry of television history, ALF stands as a beacon of inventive storytelling. Its closed set antics and laugh track wizardry defy convention, allowing audiences to revel in the belief that laughter echoed within those studio walls. Michael Eisner's fleeting pursuit adds an intriguing layer to the narrative, a what-if scenario that tantalizes the imagination. And amidst the mixed emotions of the cast, Max Wright's satisfaction in bringing smiles to viewers' faces demonstrates the power of connection that transcends personal struggles. In the world of entertainment, the screen may illuminate the foreground, but the shadows behind it often hold tales just as compelling. ALF embodies this dichotomy, a show that thrived amid both mystery and candid moments. As the years roll on, these stories remain etched in the annals of television lore. Jin lore. Jin lore. As we bid adieu, I urge you to take a moment and journey back to those cozy evenings in the 80 seconds when a furry extraterrestrial named ALF invaded not just the Tanner family's home, but also our hearts. Think of the laughter that echoed through the living room, the endless quirks of ALF and the way that show effortlessly weaved together humor, warmth, and a touch of intergalactic madness. ALF wasn't just a show, it was a time capsule that captured the essence of an era. It wasn't just about a wise cracking alien with a taste for cats and a penchant for trouble, it was about the shared experiences, the inside jokes, and the bonds forged over discussing the latest escapades of our favorite Malmatian visitor. As you reflect on those moments, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, your untamed laughter, and your thoughts on how ALF impacted your life. Did you find a piece of yourself in Willie's patience, Kate's warmth, or Brian's fascination? Or perhaps you related to ALF's insatiable curiosity and unapologetic individuality. Whether you found solace in ALF's antics during a tough time or simply found joy in its delightful chaos, your connection to the series is uniquely yours. And by sharing your thoughts and stories, you're helping keep the legacy of ALF alive for generations to come. So, let your memories take center stage and join in the cosmic symphony of nostalgia. Thank you for revisiting this interstellar journey down memory lane with me. Your time and interest in the world of ALF are truly appreciated. Remember, the adventures of ALF are not just stories, they are chapters in our lives that continue to resonate with us. Keep those moments alive, and keep sharing the magic.